Hello. So I was out for a walk, um, and I've just been here in the river bottom for about five minutes, parked up over there. For people familiar with my videos, you'll recognize that mountain in the background. Um, so this is just a river bottom I'm standing in. You can see it's a beautiful evening sun. This is the Gata de Gorgos river bottom. And uh, I just kind of came down that road and zigzagged across here for about five minutes and then I got to this point and I just had to had to stop because there was so much that I was seeing in this one place and, and this is what I want to help people to, to see. Now I, I can't speak for other parts of the world but at least around this part of the world in the river bottoms, the seashores, and even sometimes up a little bit higher you'll find these smooth rocks but they really gather in the valleys and the river bottoms, which mainstream geology would tell us makes sense because the water uh, rolling around is, you know, causing these rocks to, to slowly erode and get smooth, right? So these are river rock. And I, and I theorize that a, a great many of these are, are petrified organs. And it sounds like an absurd idea, but as I've shown in a lot of my videos, the, the heart of the matter, part one and two, uh, petrified organs and giant's hearts and how to spot them, this, uh, this theme reemerges over and over again. So this was the, the rock that I initially stopped at. And you can see the, the harp shape. And up at the top, there's even an indentation right there. And, uh, and then this is what would be called the interventricular sulcus. And it's got this classic flat bottom or curved bottom and and tapering in on the sides. I've shown that in many, many videos. And as I looked around me, I realized that there was one there, upside down. There are two there, lying right next to each other. You can see here. These, this is another one of the features, the three, three planes, and usually a flattened top. There's one. There's the, that telltale sign again. They all, they're all slightly different in shape. And I also found these that I had already put in my pocket here. See there, curves under, curves in there. The tapering, the tapering again. There's another. And then look at that. There's a, there's an aortal opening there. Right in the back and you see how it curves on the under, underside again, there. And then I found this one as well. There's your pulmonary artery openings. And look at that, another one on the top. And once again, that curved underside and a faceted front. Okay, so just catching the last rays of light there and and walking a little bit more and I just came across this one here and uh, this is a real beauty. You can see you can see that it's still reddish in shape even in this if you saw this in the in the sunlight right now uh, it would you'd see how how fleshy it looks and uh, it's got it's got the the sulcus lines once again. And then there's your your blood vessel openings at the at the top, and and here and back as well. You've got you've got more of the sulcus lines and the you know the aortal opening here. And once again, got the shape as well. This one's real fat. And this is something else I wanted to wanted to say as well is that. When they're flat, they, they tend not to have openings. This one's actually showing a bit of, of an opening. Um, so the thicker ones 
uh, are less distinct as far as the whole harp shape and the curves and everything. Like here you don't have the flat, well you do have a little bit of the flat underside and a slight curve inward. So even with this thick one, it's still, it's still got that, that shape. Um, yeah, so that one's, this is, this one is really fleshy. So that's one of my other theories is that, see how white so many of these are? They're like bone, you know, almost because they've uh, been through so much and, and the, they get oxidized by the, the sunlight as well. So I think this is from a more recent cataclysm. <laughs> So, you know, in the space of just a few minutes, I found a bunch of them here. Here's another look. <laughs> and look at that, curved, curved underside, just like I'd expect to find harp shape tapering in. And then there's another big one over there that I, that I filmed and I'll show the film. Yeah, so it's really, really easy to spot these things, and it's not so easy to explain them just by, you know, oh, rolling around and erosion. And the reason I say that is because as soon as you leave this river bottom and, and the valley and you start to head up the hills, it's a completely different kind of rock. It's all jagged, and there's no uniformity to it. You don't have any of these smooth rock, rocks at all. And if you do find any smooth rocks up there, they're almost always in this harp shape. So I wonder how much of this is pareidolia, right? That's what the critics would say. Uh, but this is an incredibly specific pattern that re repeats itself across size, across different colors of stone. There's another one, right? Here's one, here's another. There's your faceted shape. There's your flat side on the, on that side. And then the top, which uh, looks very much like an opening. So it's, uh, you, I mean, you can see how, how often this reoccurs. And there's your crease at the top. So that's your, uh, it's not the intraventricular sulcus, but uh, same thing, but with a different name. I can't remember what, what it's called when it's on the backside, but um, yeah. So everywhere I'm everywhere I look now, I'm seeing them because I can I can spot the pattern. And you know, explain to me how this is going to happen from a jagged piece of rock just rolling around from up at the top of those mountains back down to here. <laughs> I don't buy it anymore. Look at that. There's another one right there. Your facets, your flattened underside, and this is an important thing as well. As soon as there's any kind of a chip to them or they're broken in any way, you can see right there, the, the flaw is immediately apparent. And that that is interesting because what that means is that all of these rocks are are contiguous pieces. Unless they're broken, then you can immediately see. Um, and usually they'll have this harp shape and then once they're broken, you can spot it uh, immediately. Oh. Last rays of light. And just at the last rays of light, I wanted to show you one last time, this is where I was. And in just those few minutes, this is what I grabbed from out there. It's all I could carry in my pockets. So I've already talked about this one. This one I just found. See again, the indentation at the top. There's the, the faceting, the flattened top. There's even an indentation there. Curves on, or it's, yeah, slight, slight curve on the underside. Same thing, indentations at the top. 
broken, right? You can see the, the, the fracture. And then it's got the curve on the underside. This one you've got the hints of the one of the sulcuses here as well. Same shape. Indentation at the top. Curved underside. <laughs> A little rough that one. But it even has that that little tiny underside curve to it. This one's showing a little bit of the blood vessel, pulmonary arteries and indentations, actually a bit of an opening there. And you can see the, the in, intraventricular sulcuses. Again, another, that's a beautiful little one. See the lines? Look at that, exactly where they should be, right? And and even the, even the, the underside curve there. And this one is absolutely gorgeous. I'd love to have this tested. Look at that. Can't really appreciate it in this light, but see the underside curve and the shape again. And this one I didn't find here in the river bottom, but I found this today, and of all places are... Um, the bucket that held the Christmas tree as we were taking the tree out, um, this was sitting up on, on end like this. And I was like, hmm, and I pulled out the rock and there it was. So this was also found today, but found in my own home and of all places, the bucket to the Christmas tree. So, and then here's another couple ones. You can see the facets, the shape, the curving in, the flattened tops, and he hints yeah, there's a hint of a blood vessel right there. Right there. And, oh. Curved underside. A little bit of a fracture. <laughs> yeah, so not bad for about uh, 20 minutes of hunting, huh? Yeah. This world is not what you think it is. Dun, dun, dun. Well, thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, I've had a lot of people around the world sending me videos and, and photographs of, of different uh, rocks that they found. You can see that one's broken as well. And there's the, there's, <laughs> there's your aorta on the, on the back side, right where it should be. Harp, tapered on the bottom, slightly broken, but still showing the aorta. And if you see here, look at that. Oop, right there. There's your, there's your intraventricular sulcus again. I go through that uh, in detail in the helical hearts video, but you can see the, the opening there. Glorious day in winter, fresh air. <sighs> Take care. Here I am in a mossy moss. See that? And uh, I just wanted to uh, share this entertaining moment with you as we come in. You're gonna. Oh, look, there's a rock. Oh. But it's just kind of a round rock, right? Yeah, unless you get in at this angle. Look at the size of that baby right there. See that? And look at that indentation right at the top. And look at how it curves under on the underside there.